Hello kids, oh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Kids, in this session we are going to learn rounding the number to nearest 1000. In the previous two sessions we learned rounding the number to nearest 10 and then 100. Now we are going to learn rounding the number to nearest 100. Okay, so first of all I take few examples how do we do that. Okay, so suppose I have a number uh, maybe 3 five four six okay and I have to round this number to nearest 1000 right so what I do is uh, there are three zeros in 1000 so I see the last three digits okay the first step is put up three zeros okay now see last three digits if these are more than 500 then you have to add one over here right so it will be rounded to 4000 3546 when it is rounded to nearest thousand it is 4000 okay and the other example is 3442 put up three zeros if this number is less than 500 then you copy this number as it is so you can see the difference it is more than 500 it is less than 500 if it is more than 500 you have to add one over here if it is less than 500 you have to write it as it is okay so this is what the rounding the number to nearest 1000 I take more examples suppose I have a 9 2 4 5 right I write three digits three zeros 245 it is less than 500 so I'll write 9 as it is okay 8 6 2 5 write 3 zeros 6 to 5 it is more than 500 so I add 1 over here so 8 and 1 9 okay so that's very easy I hope you are getting it now one important thing over here you should be knowing rounding till nearest 10 till uh, nearest 100 and 1000 right so suppose I have one number uh, maybe 4542 right now I do the rounding to nearest 10 nearest 100 and nearest 1000 okay so for nearest 10 you have to see the last digit that is and first, first of all you have to put 0 if last digit is more than 5 or less than 5 here it is less than 5 so you copy the number as it is ok and if it is more than 5 then you have to add 1 over here I will be taking example of that also so here in this case the last digit is less than 5 so you copy this number as it is ok then we have to see nearest 100 for nearest 100 we have to see last two digits okay last two digits first of all you write two zeros now see last two digits if they are more than 50 or less than 50 so they are less than 50 so copy these two numbers as it is these two digits as it is okay so this is a rounding nearest 100 then we have to do rounding nearest 1000 so first of all you put up three zeros and see last three digits so if the last three digits are more than 500 then you have to add one over here so four and one five right now you see the same number if it is rounding till nearest 10 then what is the answer you are getting if it is rounding till nearest 100 then what is the answer you are getting and if it is rounding off to nearest uh, 1000 then what is the answer you are getting in each case the answer is different so you should be very clear when you are doing a rounding off it is to be done to nearest 10 or 100 or 1000 ok I take one more example 4 5 6 7 right now nearest 10 nearest 100 and nearest 1000 for nearest 10 put up 10 see unit digit last digit it is more than 5 then add 1 over here so 6 and 1 7 and 45 as it is so this is a rounding to nearest 10 for 100 put up two zeros see last two digits more than 50 then you have to add 1 
to it. So 5 and 1, 6 and this is 4. Now last three digits, put up three zeros. Last three digits are more than 500, so you have to add 1 over here. So 4 and 1, 5. Okay, so when you are doing rounding off, you should be very clear. You are doing rounding till nearest 10, 100 or 1000. For 10, see last digit only. For 100, see last two digit only. For 1000, see last three digits. Okay, so we have the practice for rounding off till 1000. Now I have the sheet with me. I'll be doing one or two examples for you. Then you have to do the remaining ones. Okay, so... I just do the first one. Uh, we have to do rounding to nearest thousand. So first step, put up three zeros. Okay. See, last three digits, more than 500 or less than 500. So this is less than 500. So you copy this number as it is. Okay. So that's very simple. You have done rounding of this number to nearest thousand. So that's 2000. Now this one, first of all, copy three zeros. See, 819, it is more than 500, so I add 1 over here. So, 1 and 1, 2. Okay, in similar manner, you have to do all the sums. So, just pause the session from problem 3 to problem 15, you have to do, right? So, just pause the session and uh, do not copy the entire statement. You just uh, copy this number, 4359, and do uh, and write down the answer. Okay, then copy this one and write down the answer. Okay, so just pause the session and in first go you just take the numbers or take the problems up to 10. Then I'll show you the next set of problems. Okay, and when you are done, we'll just play the session once again. Okay, now I'm writing down the answer. So just listen to me carefully. And uh, this is 0004. This is 0004. Eight. This is zero 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 six. This is zero 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 seven. This is zero 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 nine and one. I'll add so it is ten. This is zero 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 nine. This is zero 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 six. This is zero 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 six. Okay, so up to 10, I have written the answers. You just match your answers with mine. And uh, whatever is the score you are getting, just write it down. Now take the next five problems. Okay, copy the number one, one by one and just write down the correct answer. And when you are done, pause, uh, just play the session once again. Okay, so just pause it now. Are you done? Now match your answers with mine. It is zero 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 four. It is zero 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 two. It is zero 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 three. It is zero 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 four. It is zero 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 seven. Okay. So just match your answers with mine. And uh, what is your score? Just write it down and show it to your mama. Now one more exercise for you. Here you have to route, uh, round the numbers to the place indicated. In this case, this is 100 place, right? So you have to round this number to 100, to nearest 100. In this case, uh, this is tens place, so you have to write down the number to nearest 10. Okay? Similarly, in this case, it is thousand place, you have to do rounding of till nearest thousand. Okay, so I do one or two for you, then you have to do the remaining ones. Here, you have to round it off to nearest 100 because it is 100 place. So when you have to do rounding to nearest 100, you put up two zeros, right? And see, last two digits are more than 50 or less than 50. In this case, they are more than 50, so you add one over here, right? So four and one, five and two as it is. Okay, in this case, uh, Thus, uh, the number indicated is ten at tens place, so you have to round this number to nearest ten, right? So for nearest ten, put up a zero. Then see the last digit. If it is more than five or less than five, it here it is more than five. So you add one over here. So five and one, six 
and a remaining number as it is. Okay, here round the number to place indicated here it is at thousands place so rounding off will be done to nearest thousand. So for nearest thousand I put up three zeros. Now see the last three digit more than 500 or less than 500 more than 500 then add 1. So 7 and 1, 8. Okay, so this way you have to do the remaining sums. Okay, so you do the problems from 4th to 10th and uh, just pause the session uh, uh, just write down the number in your notebook and write down the correct answer okay then I'll show you the answer and then you match your answers with mine okay so just pause the session now now I show you the answer this is the answer sheet from 4 to 10 you have to uh, mark your answer 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So just match your answers carefully and uh, if it is wrong, write down the correct answer and uh, whatever is the score you are getting, just write it down out of 10. Okay, suppose out of 10, uh, 3 already I have done, that means you are will be getting the score from 7, right? So out of 7, how much you are getting, you just write it down over here. Okay, then show the score to your mama. Okay. One more practice sheet I have over here. Round the number to the place indicated and uh, you have been given the options over here A, B, C and D. Right. So be very careful. I do the first one for you. Uh, it is the hundred uh, place is marked. It, it's indicated. So we have to do rounding of this number to nearest hundred so nearest hundred that means put up two zeros now see last two digits more than 50 right so I add one over here so six and one seven and the seven as it is so if it is uh, to round it to nearest hundred it will be seven seven double zero that is this one okay so now pause the session and do the problems from number two to number seven okay so pause the session and when you are done, just play the session once again. I'll show you the correct answers. Okay. So done. And uh, do three more problems. 8, 9, 10. Just pause the session once again. And then I'll show you the answers uh, of all the problems. Okay. So that's 8, 9, 10. Okay. Done. Now you match the answers. I'm just showing you the answers. First one, option C, question number 2, option A, question number 3, B, 4, D, 5, A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 9, A, and 10th, B. Okay, you can pause the session while you are matching your answers. Okay, and just write down your score out of 9, how much you are getting. Okay. So kids, I hope you are enjoying the sessions of rounding off. Okay, do practice well with the problems based on rounding off. I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.